folks i am saurav das adhikari and today we'll make chicken tikka masala this is probably the most loved indian curry outside of india now there is always a debate between chicken tikka masala chicken butter masala there is also a debate on who made it is it the brits is it the indians but the debate will continue let's focus on this recipe now typically uh, the chicken tikka in this curry is made in a tandoor oven or a clay oven now i don't have this in my apartment so i'm making this on a skillet you can also make this on a conventional oven skillet is much faster and keep the chicken very juicy so why wait let's check out india's or world's favorite chicken curry starting with the ingredients so for chicken tikka masala i split the ingredient section into two parts first is for the chicken marinade to make the marinade we need 1 and 1/2 cups of hung yogurt or greek yogurt the yogurt essentially should be very very thick 1 tsp of kashmiri red chili powder 1 tsp of kasuri methi powder 1 tbsp of ginger garlic paste about 2 tbsp of kashmiri red chili paste to make this paste you have you take 2 kashmiri red chilies uh, boil them in water for about 1 minute peel out the skin of the kashmiri red chili discard the seeds and make a paste of the skin and that should give you this much paste this is a roux made out of chickpea flour or besan roux is essentially a thickening or a binding agent which will combine all these components or all these ingredients together to make the roux you heat up butter or ghee and roast the chickpea flour till the time oil starts uh, oozing out of the mixture and then you know your roux is done i'll, I'll create a separate video for this uh we'll taking half a lime 1 tsp of cumin powder 1 tsp of black salt 1 tsp of garam masala 1 tsp of black pepper powder this is 1 kg or 2.2 pounds of chicken and in chicken i'm taking chicken boneless chicken thighs and i've cut squares of these thighs this should be the size uh, of the chicken I'm taking mustard oil about 3 tablespoon and salt about 1 teaspoon so let's cut get started by making the marinade so to make the marinade i've taken this bowl in which i have added 3 tablespoon of mustard oil now i'll add about 1 teaspoon of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi and then uh, i'll add jeera powder or cumin powder about 1 teaspoon yep this should do black salt 1 teaspoon garam masala 1 teaspoon black pepper 1 teaspoon and now the wet ingredients we'll add the roux this is about 1 tablespoon the kashmiri red chili paste about 2 tablespoon ginger garlic paste about 1 tablespoon and all of the hung yogurt or the thick yogurt and some lime juice and finally i'll add about 1 tsp of salt yep that should do now i'll mix this properly to make a nice red paste 
I have to make sure that the roux that I added gets incorporated well. Now the marinade is ready. So I'll bring in the chicken and add all the chicken in the marinade. And then combine properly. Perfect. Now I'll let the marinade sit in the fridge to marinate for about one to two hours. So these are the next set of ingredients which will make the gravy. So we have one teaspoon of kasuri methi, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, five green cardamom pods, two black cardamom pods, one inch thick cinnamon sticks. This is about uh, two to three bay leaves, 10 to 12 cashews. This is about four garlic cloves minced, two garlic cloves whole, one inch ginger, three to four tablespoon of ghee, uh, heavy cream uh, just for garnish and topping, one tablespoon of garam masala, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. This is uh, coriander uh, leaves. These are, uh, this is the stem of the coriander leaves, which we have about six. This is one whole onion where half of the onion is roughly diced and half of the onion is minced. We have also four tomatoes halved and one tomato minced. And oil uh, if needed we'll use but in this case we are using ghee you can substitute ghee with oil or mustard oil so let's get started with the next process so the chicken has been marinating for an hour now it's time to smoke the chicken so put a cast iron small pot here I'll bring a charcoal and put it here it's a red hot charcoal as you can see and then put some a small drop of ghee on it and it will start to smoke immediately and then I'm gonna cover this and I'll keep it like this for 30 minutes till the smoke is gone and then I'll keep it in the fridge again for about 30 more minutes so now I've heated a pan I'm adding one tablespoon of ghee to the pan as the ghee has started to smoke I'm adding ginger the whole ginger that we had and the whole garlic cloves so I'll sauté this for a minute or so now I'll add the cardamom, the black cardamom, cinnamon and bay leaves and saute for one to two minutes. Now I'll add the onions and the tomatoes. I'll also add the coriander sprigs now add water and cover it with a lid I'll take out the lid and remove the skin of the tomatoes And I'll keep boiling it till everything is cooked well so now it has been about 15 minutes and all the veggies are cooked properly so that they won't have raw smell you see the tomato is soft the onions are soft I'll give it five more minutes before I grind it and uh, 
you can add more water if you want to I think this is okay for now so now this is done everything is soft so I'll take out the spices here because the spices have left their flavors in the oil so I'll take out all the spices that I can and now I'll grind this to a fine paste so now we'll start making our chicken tikka ideally would make this in a tandoor or a very high heat oven but in home that's not possible you can also make it in uh, oven but I'll show you how to make it in pan which is the easiest way so I've heated a griddle and I'll just spray some oil on it yep and then as the oil heats up I'll start adding chicken so I'll heat each side of this chicken for five to eight minutes depending on if you have a thicker cut or a shorter cut smaller cuts take less time thicker cut takes more time so chicken has been cooking for about two to three minutes I'll start flipping the chicken to avoid any burns and we'll continue cooking on this side for another 2-3 minutes we can change the position of the chicken so that the chicken which is further off gets cooked first this is almost done so we'll take out start taking out chicken from the middle and add more chicken in and we'll cook all the chicken tikka this way so we have to make sure that the chicken is 90 to 100 percent done it will cook in the gravy for like two three minutes but we should make sure that it does not dry out on the pan so i'll start taking out these pieces which are in the center of the pan so now it's time to make curry so i've heated a pan and i'm taking about one tablespoon of ghee i'll add garlic just saute it and i'll add the onions i'll let the onions sweat i'll add a little bit of salt not a lot just a bit to help in sweating so that onions start leaving water so the onions have sweat there so i'll add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste yep that should do and combine it well sorry saute it for two minutes and then we'll add the tomatoes adding the tomatoes at this stage i'll also add the remaining marinade i'll mix this well start adding the remaining masalas starting with some chili powder then adding some turmeric just a bit adding cumin powder coriander powder and garam masala and these are about one teaspoon each so the masala is cooked now we'll add the tomato paste that we made and we'll continue cooking the tomato paste we'll mix it well and at low heat we'll cook the tomato paste we'll cover it a bit because the paste will spatter and let it cook now to this i'll add about one fourth cup of water and mix it then i'll add about one teaspoon of sugar as i mentioned earlier and cover and cook for one minute now i'll add the chicken into the gravy i'll mix this 
add some boiling water some salt now this is salt to taste now I'll cover this and cook this for about two minutes at medium heat I'm adding the kasuri methi remaining this is about one teaspoon making sure it is crushed adding some garam masala just half teaspoon and heavy cream about three to four tablespoon mixing this well and bringing this to a simmer at low heat for two minutes it's been about two minutes and our chicken tikka masala is ready to serve so this was the recipe for world's favorite indian curry which is chicken tikka masala hope you enjoyed my video try out my recipe and let me know how it turned out for you in the comment section and yes if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel